Hi, I'm Beth from the Jazz Beast Company and this is the wonderful Dermalogica Victoria. We're here today to bust a big, big myth. Um, it's the myth of dry versus dehydrated skin. Lots of people get confused between which one is which and it's like, oh, you need this because of dry skin and this because of dehydrated skin. And we get it confused, we get it mixed up, we get it wrong. So just explain to us why is a little yeah. intro. <laughs> I think really the the challenge is the skin conditions or skin types are very similar yeah. because whether you're dry or dehydrated you'll have symptoms of tightness dryness flakiness yeah. dullness so sometimes it can be confusing to actually work out whether you're dry or dehydrated but yeah, yeah. it is important to the main reason being in a really small nutshell is that if your skin is dry, it lacks lipids okay. or the oil portion of the barrier. And if your skin is dehydrated, it's lacking moisture or the water components. So they're of actually the lacking different things yeah. in a different way of treating them. Yes. I can honestly say when I learnt this, mind blown. I've, I've got really dry <laughs> skin and I was using the wrong stuff for ages. Yes. So take note. So we'll focus on dry skin to start with mm -hmm. then. So what actually is dry skin? If you have dry skin, we tend to call that a skin type. So okay. it's something that you're genetically born with. And I know yeah. that that's your skin type, yeah, yeah. Beth. So you're born with dry skin. So naturally your skin doesn't produce enough barrier yeah. lipids. Mm -hmm. um, and you will suffer with that all your life. And yeah. it will tend to be all over your body. So not just your face, your scalp, your hands, your body skin. Yeah. Um, and so that's that's kind of how you know if you're, if you're really dry skin, that yeah. it's something that you kind of always Mm -hmm. suffer with and it tends to be the majority of your face and body skin. So what are the actual symptoms then of, of dry skin? Like I know you can say you can feel it up. Of yes. Body, but yeah, and it's all you, you can. You can always feel like you have never got enough moisturizer. Yeah, okay. It feels like whatever you so use is tight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're always feeling like you need to load up on moisturizer. So your skin will feel tight, flaky. It can be rough in texture. Tends to look yeah. quite dull. But it's yeah. that always ongoing feeling of having dry skin and never being able to get enough moisture in it. Mm -hmm. I know the feeling. Okay, so how do we overcome dry skin? And let's just stick to dry for now. The key thing with dry skin is making sure that you use lipid rich products. So they're yeah. products that are fortified with the same lipids that your skin is missing. Okay. And we often use the analogy of imagine your skin's protective barrier like a brick wall. So the bricks being the skin cells and then mm. the cement that holds them together. So your skin naturally produces lipids. They're comprised of things like ceramides, essential fatty acids, cholesterol mm -hmm. and I think where a lot of people get confused is this isn't sebum so you might yeah. have come across the the word sebum which is the kind of natural grease or oil it's the acne kind of yes yeah. usually associated on the t-zone where you have more sebaceous glands that pump yeah. out this oil what we're talking about with the skin lipids it's different it's kind of like the components of your barrier cement if you like mm -hmm. so when you look at products from Dermalogica like the new uh, intensive moisture cleanser and intensive moisture balance mm -hmm. they contain a bio-replenish complex which basically mimics those barrier lipids that are missing yeah. in a very specific ratio yeah. so we replace the cholesterol the ceramides and the essential fatty acids mm -hmm. and that kind of rebuilds the, the brick wall so okay. you're looking for lipid rich and that doesn't have to mean thick heavy gloopy that then causes yeah, yeah. kind of congestion and and dull skin so mm -hmm. they can still be really nice and light and comfortable to use you're looking to put back what you're missing yes yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's focus on dehydrated skin then. So what is de dehydrated skin? So dehydrated skin is a lacking of water or moisture within that okay. skin barrier. So in order for skin to be um, healthy and functioning at optimum, it needs to be reasonably hydrated. Mm -hmm. So we have these natural um, moisture factors that, that come from within the skin. And unfortunately, dehydrated skin pretty much affects everyone to some degree. So yeah. whether you're young, old, oily, dry, sensitive, whatever your skin type or skin condition mm. because of environmental factors. So whether it's yeah. UV, aircon, central heating, pollution, your diet, so many things will influence um, moisture levels within the skin. So it's kind of unavoidable. Okay. And I think that the key difference with dehydrated skin if you think about the kind of symptoms, yeah. is that it tends to be more zone specific. So you might have tight, flaky cheeks, or you might have a tight, kind of crepey, flaky forehead. So you won't or necessarily eyes. have dehydrated skin everywhere. No, you, like, you oh, may do, but it tends, yeah. yeah, it tends to be. I can look at somebody and think, yeah, you're deep forehead's very dehydrated or, or your That's cheeks <laughs> cheeks are and when you look really close at dehydrated skin if you just kind of lift the skin a little bit 
Mm. You will see, I call it onion skin. If you think about an yeah, onion yeah. where you get the really, really fine crepey lines. Um, it's very common around the, the eyes because it's a very thin, delicate area. Mm. Um, but so, so it could be anywhere. But what's really confusing for a lot of people is their skin's really dehydrated, but it's also oily and breaking out. Yeah. And I think that a big mistake that a lot of people make, particularly if they're a bit more oily and congested and breaking out, is they avoid moisture. Mm. And that's the worst thing that you can do because when your skin is dehydrated, if you think about a grape yeah. that dehydrates to become a raisin. Yeah. So the, the, the more water you're lacking, your skin kind of shrinks, your pores so get smaller. Sure yeah, so mm -hmm. that's going to create congestion and mm -hmm. your skin can't naturally shed and exfoliate and desquamate if you okay. haven't got enough moisture. So that actually makes breakouts, congestion and, and acne even worse. So how do we overcome it in terms of how do we make sure we get the water back into the skin. Yes, so getting the water back into the skin. I mean, you can drink a lot of water, but you're, you still won't avoid <laughs> external dehydration, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. So looking for water-rich products, mm. hyaluronic acid is a key buzz ingredient yeah, that's out there. That. But that is a perfect example of an ingredient that is water loving. It retains and holds and binds water in the skin. Mm -hmm. So something like Dermalogica's Skin Smoothing Cream, which has been um, revamped, yeah. not only contains hyaluronic acid, but it also contains an active hydromesh technology. So okay. looking at this technology that almost creates like a second skin, you can't feel it, it's like on a molecular level, mm -hmm. but that will trap the water in so it can't escape. Yeah. And it also infuses the skin with hydrators such as glycerin and urea so that you get a time-released hydration, um, keeping your skin hydrated that's for 48 clever. hours. So that's in skin, skin smoothing cream. cream. Okay. Yeah. So if we've got dry skin, intense moisture balance, dehydrated skin, skin, skin smoothing cream. cream. Yeah, absolutely. Easy. Yeah. How easy is that? <laughs> that's been super helpful. Thanks, Victoria. Okay. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too.